Ben, Dom, Fitz. I think I know. worth £32,000. I think I know what it is, but I'm going to ask the audience. OK, audience on your keypads, please. It's worth a lot of money. This is worth £32,000 to Nadim. Which prefix, meaning son of, goes before boys' names to create Scottish surnames? A on your keypad will be Mac. B will be Ben. C will be Dom. D will be Fitz. All vote now. Seventy-nine percent are saying Mac. Um, four saying Ben. Seven Dom. Ten Fitz. You said you thought you had an idea. Is that what you well, thought? I agree with the audience. So I'll go for Mac. Fifteen thousand if they're wrong. Have you got £15,000 in the world? Probably not. <laughs> you have at the moment, you've got 16. I'm going to play. I'll play, I'll go with Final that. answer. Final answer. You've just won £32,000, have you? <laughs> My man! Oh! What a great audience! Oh, we never doubted this audience for a second. Right, have a look at that. Nadine, whatever happens tonight, you go back to Crystal Palace with sure. £32,000. OK? Whatever happens, you go home with that. But we don't want to give you that. I'd like to give you this one. Have a look at that one. It's nicer. It's twice as nice. Have a look. OK? That's the next one. You've got 32 guaranteed, which must be a very nice feeling. You're five away from one million. You've still got two lifelines. Take your time. Look at question number 11. It's worth £64,000. What nationality was the surrealist painter René Magritte? What nationality was the surrealist painter René Magritte? French, Swiss, Belgian, Dutch. Can I do 50-50? Um, sure. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Nadine the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. You've got 32 guaranteed, it's worth 64 though. You've still got to phone a friend. Could I phone a friend? Okay. Who are you going to phone? Anne. Anne? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to take her answer, but you might as well play. It's worth 64,000. Where's Anne? Crystal Palace? No, uh, Nottingham. Hello? Anne? Yes. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Hello, Chris. Good evening. Good evening. I've got um, Nadim here. Yes. He's on £32,000 at the moment. Oh, well done, that man. Well done, that man. With your help, Anne, we can get him up to £64,000. Come on, then. The next voice here will be Nadim's. There are only two answers left. One of them is the right answer, one's obviously the wrong answer. Yeah. OK. Good luck, Anne. Nadim, your time starts now. Thank you. Hi, Anne. Nad. What nationality was a surrealist painter, René Marguerite, Swiss or Belgian? The name again? René Marguerite Swiss. or Belgian? I honestly don't know, Nav. I'm sorry. OK, thanks, Sam. Okay. Cool. It's a bit on the spot being a phone a friend at this level, isn't it? Take your time, take as long as you need. It's worth £64,000. One of those is worth £64,000 to you now. I'm going to go for Belgium. Why? That was a, a, what I was inclined to say before I went 50 50 anyway. I can't lose anyway. So no, you can't lose. You've got 32000 guaranteed. In Belgium. Final answer. Final answer. 
You had £32,000. You still got £32,000. But you've got another £32,000 to go with it. <laughs> you've got £64,000, Nadine! <laughs> That one's very, very, very nice. Away with that. Right, you've got £64,000. You've got no lifelines left. Now, this is where you could lose a lot of money. You've got sixty-four at the moment. You would lose 32000 if you gave me a wrong answer. But it's worth £125,000. Take your time. Question number 12 of 15. Here it is. What type of creature is a hoopoo? Bird. Fish. Insect, mammal, bird. How do you know that? It's from a book I read when I was about 12. You ever seen one in Crystal Palace? Uh, <laughs> if you're wrong, you've lost 32,000. It's fine. I'll go for bird, final answer. Half a drive. Final answer. Final answer. What did it look like then in your book? It's called like a uh, red feathered crest, something like that. I can't remember that much. It's good, you've just won £125,000! <laughs> and you knew you had. So, you've got £125,000, you've got no lifelines. The next question is worth a quarter of a million. Nadim, if you give me a wrong answer to question number 13 of 15, you lose £93,000 of the money you've got at this moment. OK? It's quite a sobering thought. Yeah. Take your time. Have a good look at it. Question number 13, you are three away from £1 million. What was the first name of the composer Puccini? Enrico. Giamo, Rodolfo, Giacomo. lingering look? I'm not sure at all, so there's no point risking it. OK, give him a big hand. I think everybody here agrees he did exactly the right thing. <laughs> You've got to check there with our pleasure, Nadine. You've got to check there for £125,000. We do want to give you that. What was your, what was your instinct, your guess? Geocoma. Where did that come from? I don't know, just a guess. <laughs> If you'd said to me, Giacomo, you'd be sitting there with £250,000. That's the right answer. <laughs> oh, that upset me more than you, I think. It's the right answer. You did the right thing, mate. You were not at all certain you had no lifelines left. It's a very happy position to go away with £125,000. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Bless you, mate. Well done. Kelly spies with her little eye, Bob's full house next, then Bruce's Price is Right goes bumper to bumper for a bargain, and later, whack, plop. That's how it goes on Total Wipeout UK.